Alexa, set a timer for one hour. Well, here we are again. Hey friends, it's me, Amy Rebecca, your internet bestie for all things personal development, intentional living, and dream chasing. And I'm back at it with another wardrobe declutter. I know, I know. The truth is you are never done decluttering. You always have to go back and keep doing top ups, maintenance, make sure that no sneaky things have crept in. And I can tell you friends, some sneaky things appear to have crept into my wardrobe. Ever since I was a kid, I've always done a pre-Christmas declutter because you just know at Christmas time, more stuff is gonna be making its way into your life. And so I like to make space for it before it all appears before Santa brings it. This week I'm gonna be focusing on my wardrobe and notice that I said this week and not just today because after the success of my attic declutter earlier this year I've realized that breaking things down hour by hour is it's just it makes me um not lose my mind. I'm gonna break it down category by category, day by day. I'm just gonna spend one hour a day going through stuff and that way I think I'll be a lot more productive. I'll be able to make a lot better decisions because I won't get decision fatigue and hopefully I'll be able to get rid of a lot more stuff. So we're starting with tops and I'm gonna to stick to the question that I find the most helpful when I'm decluttering my clothes, which is if I saw this in a shop today, would I purchase it? That way you're just left with clothes that you know that you love and that you're actually going to use. Oh, okay, let's do it. easy. I feel a kind of way about this because I'm keeping probably like 99.9% .9 of all my tops. It seems like a lot. It feels like a lot. I'm looking at it. It's a lot. But I genuinely do love all of these. I don't know what to say. I do have a little pile of things that I'm either going to be throwing away if they're no good or putting on vintage or taking to the charity shop, whatever. So these are the things that will be going except this. This is my graduation top. It's got um, the names of everyone who graduated in my year on the back of it. I'm in here somewhere, where am I? There I am. Anyway, I can count on one hand the number of times that I've worn this since 2014, mostly because it's white. I'm a hot mess, okay? I try to avoid wearing white tops, especially like casually, if I'm just gonna be hanging around the house or if I'm just gonna be doing something very casual, then I will avoid white because I can guarantee I'm gonna get my foundation fingerprints on it, I'm gonna spill chocolate on it. Any number of things could happen, I'm very clumsy. So I'm thinking why don't I just get some navy pajama bottoms and use it as pajamas. A, a weird kind of upcycling, if you will. So I'm gonna grab a notebook and I'm gonna start making a list as I go of things that I need to buy. And I know that seems counterproductive in a wardrobe declutter, but sometimes you realize, oh, I need to get rid of this, but it's something that needs to be replaced, i.e. my jeans. Your girl needs new jeans. I just don't wanna go out and shop for them. Or sometimes something like this, where you're like, okay, this is a great pajama top, but now I need to go out and buy the bottoms. Okay, so these are the tops that I'm getting rid of. Some of them have little stains on them, so they have to go. Some of them, I just, they're not relevant to my life anymore. Like that was an old work top. This doesn't fit anymore. It's not a lot. And obviously it hasn't made a huge difference to the amount of space in my wardrobe. Oh my gosh. Oh, let me close the curtains. This winter sun is insane. Oh. Oh, darkness, great. Anyway, what I was gonna say is, it feels really weird putting half of the wardrobe back really nice 
and you know fresh and decluttered and the top part still looks like a hot freaking mess because I haven't done it yet but this definitely feels more sustainable if I'd have had to do like everything today like the whole like dresses shoes pajamas at all I would be huddled in a ball crying right now so I'm gonna pick this up again tomorrow we're gonna finish off this wardrobe and see what else we can get rid of it's day two of my wardrobe declutter and the vibe is not today Satan not that I'm ever really hyped up and like ready to fly the flag for decluttering because it is a pain in the ass to do but today I'm just I don't want to do anything I just want to get back in bed clean out my entire chocolate advent calendar like eat it all in one go like shovel it all into my face and binge watch YouTube videos like that's all I want to do today we're on coffee number three <laughs> help me I'm gonna do dresses today and this is gonna sting this is gonna hurt this is gonna give me a headache Okay, fine, let's do it. of a girl who has a raging social life. She's here, she's there, she's everywhere. Sometimes she needs to be cute, sometimes she needs to be a little bit extra, sometimes she needs to be classy. I do not leave the house. Where am I thinking I'm gonna wear all of these? Now this speaks to a bigger issue in my life. I need to create a better social life for myself. Like my wardrobe is holding up a giant ass mirror to my face right now and being like, girl, your life is boring just in like yoga pants at the gym. So I don't really partake in New Year's resolutions as such, but one thing that I'm gonna focus on in the upcoming year has gotta be like getting out more in a social capacity. I've got the wardrobe for it and I don't wanna get rid of my dresses. I love them. So I'm just gonna have to alter my life to fit my wardrobe. <laughs> I know that sounds ridiculous, but that's what I'm gonna do. So fun fact, I love everything. Managed to set aside three pieces. This, I absolutely love, but it's too long for me and I honestly do not see myself ever getting around to shortening it. This because it reminds me of Vietnam and it just gives me bad vibes. This I freaking love, but it never quite fit me properly on the arms. This one I love, it is not my size at all. I got it at a charity shop. It's a size large and for the last few years I've just worn it as like an oversized kind of boho vibe dress but now that I've lost a little bit of weight it just looks ridiculous. I do absolutely love this dress though so part of me is like could I just run it under the sewing machine? Can I make it smaller? I don't know. I don't know how to sew. I don't how does one do such a thing? I don't know. Maybe I'll look up some YouTube tutorials on taking in dresses. I just don't know how I would do it with the lining. Mm. And when it comes to like summer dresses, like these maxi dresses over here, I get so much wear out of those because as soon as it starts to heat up, I am like maxi dress all day, every day. I'm always in a sundress, but it's more like these little bit more fancy dresses that I'm like, girl, you don't go that many places. I've got a whole selection of cocktail dresses. I've got two ball gowns. I don't really go to balls anymore, you know? Which is sad. I need to go to more balls. How does one get invited to more balls? Okay, let's start hauling all of this back into the wardrobe and see. It's not gonna make a difference. It's not gonna make a difference. <laughs> Note to self, you do not need any more dresses. That took pretty much no time at all, so I think I'm gonna spend a little bit of time 
decluttering my underwear drawer. I'm not going to take you along for the ride for that one because um, <laughs> I don't want to show the internet my underwear. Day three. I haven't even started and I already feel like a hot mess. My hair is greasy. My <laughs> ring light is broken. Dude, why are you so short? Also, look at this weather. We're going to do a two for one today. We're going to do more like outerwear, so cardigans, hoodies, this kind of thing. And we're going to do bottoms, so trousers, skirts. That, that's all. That's all there is for, for bottoms, right? We're going to try and get this done as quickly as physically possible. Let's go. So in wardrobe number one, I have cardigans, hoodies, and mini skirts. This is all my gym clothes, so I'm gonna do those tomorrow. And then in wardrobe number two, I have a couple of longer like maxi and midi skirts over this side. And then I have fleeces and, what are these even called? Like, what do you call this? What is that? A cover up? Whatever, I have a bunch of these in there as well. And then in here, Oh, shorts. I knew there was something I was missing. So I have my jeans and I have my shorts. Again, more gym clothes over here. That is tomorrow's problem. But let's get started. Let's pull everything out. <laughs> I might have bitten off a little more than I can chew here by doing jackets, cardigans, hoodies, shorts, trousers, and skirts all in one go. It really doesn't make any sense to do it that way. But here we are, here we have it. <laughs> Why is this so much? There's not even room for me to sit down. I'm gonna get buried under an avalanche of clothes. That's what's gonna happen. Here lies Amy. She was just trying her best. Love it. Love it. Very short, but I do love it. I love this so much, but it's just too big. Love this one too, but this one's too big. Oh, this is a poignant moment, and I've known that this is coming for a really long time. This is my favorite cardigan that I've ever owned. I just love the color of it. It just goes with everything. It does, it goes with everything. Every time I do a declutter, I'm like, I could just hold on to it because it's so versatile. It has so many holes in and I've stitched it up a bunch of times, but I've owned this 2011. How long ago was that? It was a long time ago. I was literally a teenager when I bought this. You have served me so well and as much as it pains me to let you go and as much as something in the back of my mind right now is like, no, keep it. It's so versatile. You are so versatile, but also, but could I just sew up the holes? Don't judge me. This I feel so sad about. It's a Jack Wills cardigan. It's so soft, it's so pretty, and it's brand new, still has the tag on it. I had it for my birthday, but it's not my size. And I've tried it on a couple of times, and it's just too big for me, because I think it's meant to be oversized anyway, but then it's like too big, and oversized, so it just looks like I'm wearing someone else's clothes. There's not a single reason on this earth why I should be keeping this Pussycat Dolls hoodie. It's the one from the music video. Don't you wish your girlfriend was hot like me? There's not a single reason for me to keep this. Where am I gonna wear this? Don't hate me, but I'm gonna keep it anyway. I love it, it brings me joy. Tell me you lived in Southeast Asia without telling me you lived in Southeast Asia. Okay, actually that wasn't that bad at all. I've gone through everything. I've been able to get rid of a fair amount of stuff today. I'm feeling pretty good about it. I'm really concerned that this giant pile of clothes is about to fall on me and crush me to death. So I'm gonna put all of that away and then I'm gonna show you what I'm getting rid of. <laughs> I had all of my elephant pants on this multi-level hanger and I guess that's not gonna work anymore. It's given up the ghost. What am I gonna do with them now? So this is what I'm getting rid of today and yes, I did finally come to my senses and realize I really need to part with this cardigan. So I've got cardigan, some trousers, another cardigan, some skirts, some linen trousers, I've got some shorts, sweatpants, more shorts, another cardigan, and another cardigan. It's more than I got rid of yesterday. So tomorrow I'll be wrapping things up by going through what's left. 
or my gym clothes and my pajamas. Pajamas is gonna be a hard one. You're very precariously placed on a little Yankee candle holder there, so please, no sudden movements. That's very hot, but it's very delicious. It is day four of my wardrobe declutter and we're gonna be wrapping things up today. Hopefully, I'm gonna start getting some of this stuff up on Vinted this afternoon, but it's like a whole extra level of work. You think the decluttering is bad and then you have to like pull it all out, iron it, take pictures of it. It's a whole... But the hope is if I manage to sell some of this stuff, I'll be able to. But the hope is if I manage to sell some of this stuff, I can reinvest it back into new clothes for running. Speaking of running clothes, today we are finally wrapping things up. We're gonna do my gym wear, so all of my workout clothes, and I'm gonna do my pajamas. So a lot of my gym clothes hang out over here. But then we also have all of the shorts and leggings and sports bras in here. It's a mess. Don't look. Don't look at the mess. After the mountain of chaos that I created for myself yesterday by trying to sift through everything at once, I've decided today I'm just going to do one thing at a time. So first off we have workout clothes and then once I've done all of these we'll move on to the pyjamas. So I am currently really in my workout girly era. I'm not a naturally athletic human being, okay? So my childhood, teens, right into my early 20s I avoided any kind of movement as much as possible. And then I really started to get into working out a little bit, you know, especially when I lived overseas and I had a gym in my apartment building. Like, you really don't have an excuse if you have to literally walk past the gym every time you leave the house. And I found a real enjoyment in different kinds of exercise, but I don't know, all of a sudden these last few months, I've become one of those crazy gym people. Anyway, with all of that said, I really want to make sure that I've got the appropriate workout wardrobe because I've kicked it up a notch recently and now that I've found myself working out more, I need more workout clothes. I'm probably not going to declutter a lot of this right now because I, I need it. But what I'd like to do is replace some of the older or not such great quality stuff with better stuff and that's going to be a process. So I'll write a list of what I'd like to purchase and then I'll do a kind of one in, one out. This is actually a really great reminder because I was folding everything to put back in the drawer and I was like, where are all my leggings? There's only one pair here and I realized they're all in the laundry basket. So that is the universe reminding me to do my laundry. Next is pajamas. Yikes. <laughs> One thing you have to understand about me is that I love pajamas. What are the odds I'm gonna get rid of any? Mmm, slim. <laughs> okay, but just don't judge me for this. That was actually really easy. I managed to get rid of all of these just by looking at what didn't have a pair because somehow I have tops with no bottoms and bottoms with no tops. I don't know how that's happened, but in which case they just immediately went to the to-go pile and anything that's just looking kind of old or worn out is in here too. That does mean I am still keeping all of these. They bring me joy. So this is everything that I've decluttered today. But we're here for the visuals, okay? We like big impact. So I'm gonna grab everything that I've decluttered from across the week and we're gonna put it into one big pile and see how well I've done.
I am shocked. Each day as I was going through it really didn't feel like I was getting rid of that much stuff. But when you put it all together, that's quite a hefty pile. I think working through category by category, just one hour at a time, definitely made it a lot easier to part with things. And yeah, I'm really impressed with how much I was able to part with. If you enjoy decluttering videos, you'll be thrilled to know that I have a whole playlist of them. I'll link it down below. But thank you so much for keeping me company as I worked through all of this mess. Remember that you are enough just as you are. I love you so much and I will see you soon. Bye. Thank you.